Okay, do you have a Logitech Brio camera and it continues to freeze on you when you're trying to stream through Streamlabs OBS or OBS? I've had the same problem myself and I pulled all my hair out, so I ended up getting a hold of Logitech and you're gonna find out more about the solution, so make sure that you stay tuned to today's video. Hey, I'm Dale. And I'm Walt. We are Live Streaming Tech, and if you want to learn more about live streaming online through various platforms like Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and beyond, make sure that you subscribe and hit that little bell notification icon so Walt doesn't cry about it. <laughs> I don't cry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Dale was having this issue, and uh, he was hitting me up. I was getting texts you know, random times during the day. I'm at my day job, I'm Range laying texts. in bed. Um, and he was running into the problem where on Streamlabs OBS, his Logitech Brio was freezing during his live streams. Yeah. Not the audio, everything else was going yep. just fine. It's just, it yeah. looked like this when he was streaming. Yep. And it's very frustrating, especially with the Logitech Brio where you're supposed to be able to shoot in 4K. Yeah. And he was only doing what, 1080p? And 1080p. 30, 30 and frames per second? 30 frames per second. Okay. Right? So. How did you resolve this when I couldn't help you out? Well, I, you know, first of all, I went through countless YouTube videos of people just kind of suggesting some stuff and it never ended up working. Uh, it, ultimately, it came down to getting a hold of Logitech support. And here is what they said. This comes from the combination of using high resolution frame rate setting for the camera, 1080p at 60 frames per second or 4K at 30 frames per second. The camera cannot deliver via the direct show access method that OBS uses. Result the camera settings to 720p at 60 frames per second or 1080p at 30 frames per second with MJPEG encoding and it will be real time. In order for it to show 1080p to 60 frames per second, you must use JPEG encoding. Very much doubt it will work well in any case because of the direct show access method. Microsoft Camera and Logitech Capture both use the newer MMF access method, which can deliver 1080p 60 frames per second or 40K at 30 frames per second. So basically what they're saying is, is because OBS uses that direct show access, and is that what the hell was that said? Yeah. Okay. So because OBS use it, so you're gonna run into the same problem when it comes to OBS Studio, because that was my one of yep. my solutions, was anytime that Streamlabs OBS gives me a headache, I put it to the side and wait for a few updates and then I'll go back to it later this and I always fine. fall back on my OBS Studio, which actually I prefer over Streamlabs OBS anyways, just because I'm a nerd and I like stuff like that. But um, so you found that that really didn't work as well. Yeah, uh, so here's the big issue is, um, and we'll show you just a second what we did in Streamlabs OBS, and uh, just to kind of let you know, um, it was this wasn't an issue until probably like the last couple of months, and I was doing some of these tapings, and I was doing even live videos through Streamlabs OBS, and it was just intermittent problems. It would just kind of catch yeah. and just drop a frame, and normally when you drop frame through live, it, you don't see it on your end. It's typically seen by the people watching, but I was seeing it. So this is telling yeah. me that there's something going on with the camera. So I went ahead to Logitech's uh, support site and I updated the firmware. That seemed like it was gonna be taken care of. I mm -hmm. let my camera run for about a half hour, came back, it was frozen again. So uh, we're gonna go on behind the dashboard. I'll kind of carry on from there. Which you're gonna probably find out that this isn't the case for most people. By the way, we should probably state that he is using the operating system Windows 10, or yeah. I use 8.1 or Windows 8.1, whatever the newest 8.2 or whatever. I don't know. I don't pay attention to that stuff. Yeah. Uh, regardless, I have not had an issue, um, and I've used Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio. But then again, I'm lazy and I haven't updated the firmware. So I, I I don't know if this is directly, I know that Logitech is trying to say that this is directed towards OBS, yeah. but if I'm using the same updated version of Streamlabs OBS in the same OBS studio, and I haven't had an issue with my uh, Logitech Brio, then you know, is it a firmware update or is it a Logitech Brio software update that's possibly conflicting with this OBS studio? Okay, you're gonna to wanna to open up Streamlabs OBS and this works the same with OBS. You're gonna go into your video capture device, which would be, of course, your Logitech Brio 4K. Right click on the source, left click on properties. Underneath properties, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you set your resolution FPS type at custom. 
right? So it's gonna be a custom. You don't wanna have device default because it'll end up messing up. Next thing is put your resolution as a maximum of 1920 by 1080. If you're going to go lower, that's totally fine. In fact, I've noticed when I went down to 720, I don't see any of the issues. You drop over to 30 frames per second, or you can also match output FPS. So if you've got your output set at 30 frames per second, you can just set it there. Uh, just to make things simple, I put it at 30. And then the video format, this is what was messing me up. Instead of having it at any, which is the default setting, you need to have this at MJPEG. Uh, and after that, I just leave everything set here as is, and we just hit done. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You're gonna do the same thing when you go into OBS. So let's look at that real fast. Okay, so you've opened up OBS. You're gonna right click on video capture device, which would be your Brio 4K. Go into properties. It's opening it up right here. Again, we set it at custom, 1920 by 1080. 30 frames per second in MJPEG. Everything else you just leave as is. You're gonna notice that as soon as you put it over to MJPEG, you're gonna see far less of like the dropped frames that you would normally see, kind of like that freeze framing. It's far less than if you were just to leave it at any. Hey, and speaking of camera settings, actually there's a little bit of an art and slight science to it, but we try to really break it down. In fact, I want you to go on over, take a look at this other video up here, and in that we're gonna kinda cover the do's and don'ts and some of the ways that you can get the most of that Logitech Brio 4K. I'll see you in that next video.